Okay. Here we go. So being broke is the topic this week. It is. Oh. And I guess I will kick this off with saying that I have felt broke, as we all know. I just recently um, did a blog that talked about my injury and how that led into a whole scheme of awareness around how really in other facets of my life, I was broken and I didn't even really realize it. And um, just having to sit with that pain and that reality um, and in doing so and in being in that, I've learned to kind of honor and respect um, the power, the, the health and wealth and wisdom and power that can come in a phase of being broken. So when I'm saying this, you know, what kind of resonates with you and how do you want to help serve and empower people to kind of have a, a better understanding of what this concept can be? Well, what resonated with me is that I feel like most of last year I was broken. Um, and I feel like most of my life in the past I had been broken as well. Um, and it wasn't till towards the end of 2017 that I really began, began understanding that my brokenness was a source of power. That it wasn't just this pit of negativity, but a place where I, it was a landing board where anything was possible once I stood up from this place. I think a concept around being broken is we've been conditioned to believe that we shouldn't be or we mm. can't as if broken or sad or hurt or the feeling of not being whole. Like you said something the other night in our discussion that I want you to touch further on and the concept of like, being one versus whole or something like that. Um, and what resonated with me was, you know, we're all a, a puzzle in a frame, but yeah. the concept of it's like, not all the pieces are always in, the, like the puzzle's never done and in a frame and pretty, right, essentially? No, never, exactly. Um, so, you know, for the longest time, I felt like, okay, I, I need to put myself together to be whole, I need to become whole, and then, um, one of our one of our other coaches gabby she sent me this picture and it said oneness is my true nature and it clicked and i said oh i'm not here to become whole because i'm already whole at every single moment i'm already whole even if the pieces are scattered and shattered they're still there it's being one it's being one with where i am who i am when i am where i am who? Yeah. Who, what, when, why, and where, and a matter of in that wholeness, just understanding that you are your own authority at any given time. And Absolutely. that authority, what that looks like can be completely different mm -hmm. from now versus next week versus next year. Yeah. And it is going to shift because we're humans and change. We are? We're human? Yeah, I think we're human. And change is the one thing that is consistent within us. And yet many of us fight it so hard. Like, no, nothing can change. Things always have to be as they are. But when we're fighting it, then we are not being in tune. We're not being one with who we are, because who I was five seconds ago could be different than who I am now. And it usually is because in those five seconds, I've heard a lot of amazing things from you. And I'm like, Oh, I've taken that in. And now I've shifted just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the concept, and I think the, the authority around being, you know, it, and the feelings that being broken or not whole 
it comes with in not being in tune with yourself namely your, essentially yes so yeah. Um, and that's what I really, really learned through having the injury and not being able to, you know, walk without pain. Um, I really discovered and learned how to sit presently with mm -hmm. my feels. And it was so painful at times. You laugh, yeah. but it was No, I laugh yeah. because cause <laughs> I was there. That's why I laugh. Because <laughs> I'm like, yes, it was painful. It's so painful, but it's so healing at the same time mm -hmm. because this, this wholeness that you're talking about, I don't think people really understand or they don't allow themselves to like feel that concept and apply that concept and be, be that concept, right? Yeah. yeah. Over the the last number of months I've been meditating every single day, as you know, and <laughs> in those meditations, I, it started because I meditate all the time anyway, and I have since I was a child, but I really made it a focus because I felt, I felt so broken. I felt disheartened and a bit disembodied and disconnected from my spirituality from my which is a big part of who I am well yeah and I think and I love that there you was a lot of doubt up. there was a lot of doubt that I had around many many things in my life <clears throat> from my health um, my sexuality my my um, education uh, who I who I was being like my programs, me as a coach, me as a person, me as a girlfriend, like me as a daughter, me as a best friend, like all of these things were in question. And I dove into every single one of them and I continue to because it's never, a, you know, chapter end, Club. book close type. Of, cool. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I think uh, I love that you brought up the, the spirituality thing because that's what I, I learned too is when your your connection to the source is even being tested in your realm of brokenness like that is where there is a ton of opportunity for discovery mm -hmm. and understanding around what's capable for you in co-creating and manifesting um and that's where you and I love when we are tested and I, I mean, I don't love it because it fucking sucks and it hurts and you want to die, <laughs> but I also love it because you get to really discover who you are, mm -hmm. what you yep. are when you are so scattered and so broken and you understand that like I am or may be hurt or, or broken right now, but I don't need to be fixed. No. And that's something you've heard me say over and over. Anybody that I've talked to, that I'm close to, it's okay to not be okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, as coaches. It is completely we're... okay to not be okay. Like, I'm happy to sit with you and your shit sandwich that you're eating and be like, well, how's it taste? And <laughs> how's it going? And okay, no. well, let's, let's just, let's all right, you describe what's happened to me right now and what does it taste like and, and all right. And cool. Cool. And then from there, where, where do you want to go from here? Do you like, want to keep on eating that? Finish the, finish the, finish the sandwich. Or and just throw it away. <laughs> yeah, just get rid of it. Um, it's almost just like hashtag. Sometimes I just feel like hashtag broke ass bitches. Like, <laughs> Because you look around because, again, and for anyone who's watching, when you are in such a low place of being broken and hurting and stuff, it's also fascinating because you become radically aware of what you're feeling and what you're projecting. Or it's, mm -hmm. it's almost as if it's easier to remove yourself and step back. And then you can see, like, and feel and sense how everyone else around you 
is just as hurt or is just like just in much as much pain there's pain everywhere it's completely normal um it's just how we allow it to be in us and allow it to serve us because it can yeah right I, i see it as an opportunity to just love and i know that's so cheesy but it's so true that when you those yes those those elements of yourself and elements of other people that you're like oh why why this or how could they do that you know it's stopping and saying you know i think they really need i think i really need some love in this area well the kind and then providing it for yourself saying okay how can i yes how can i open my heart up and yes it's painful and actually love it at the um, same time because that's an the, option again mm-hmm. it's one of those things that i feel we've been conditioned to believe that like it's either this or that <laughs> it can't be both and it's like bullshit watch most it of the, most of the time it is both <laughs> watch it be both <laughs> i'm making it both um so yeah i just it's been a really transformative year for you. Um, I've really, really just enjoyed you being so radically transparent in your times of hurt. And I believe that you will serve a lot of women in a very powerful way. Um, But then I just want to share gratitude to you towards the last two months of when I was broken mentally, emotionally, physically and spiritually and just thank you for that. And, um, I still have good days. I still have bad days. Um, but you're just unconditional ability to hold. You just hold that space. And I love you for that. And I just always love your take and your space and wisdom in what being broken can be. Yeah. Well, you and I were broken together, <laughs> um, which is a beautiful thing. It's it's a messy thing, but it's a beautiful thing. And from that experience together, it opened me up to this, my new program, my new coaching program, uh, which is the Never Not Broken program. And seeing that it is a co-creating journey I am not here as help. I'm not here to fix anyone because nobody needs any fixing. We're all good. We're all good. Even when we're not good, we're good in our not goodness. <laughs> Just a different and, style of good. Yeah. And we're here and I'm here to, like you said, I'm just here to hold space and to help guide each woman to becoming her own authority in her life in the broken pieces and seeing that they are beautiful. She can create this beautiful mosaic by taking a step back and seeing the artwork unfold. Mm. I love it. I love you. And I I love love everyone that's watching. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, if you're having a bad day, it's okay. Have the bad day. Yep. It's okay. All right. Well, I love you. As always, it's a great to be in your space, your energy. Um, do you have anything that you would like to say? Any parting words? Anything. Any parting words? Um, namely that hmm, I feel that the universe is, has pretty much always got your back especially when you feel that it doesn't and and in those moments when it doesn't that's why there are people like you and people like me and other amazing beautiful coaches there's plenty out there and there's a coach there for everyone and that when you feel that connection even so little inspiration that there's possibility for more when you feel that little bit don't be afraid to reach out because Alyssa and I are here. And, and even if we don't feel that we are the right coach for you, 
we know so many coaches and we're good at connecting the dots to help you get to somebody that will create with you. We're a tribe of heart warriors. <laughs> That's what we're here to do. Yep. All right. Thank you, everyone. Mwah.